Good afternoon. So one of the important topics uh, is reading of graphs um, in class 11th, you know, when you start doing kinematics. So if we talk about reading the graphs, you know, one of the last graph uh, we would like to study is the acceleration versus time graph. So let me explain you, you know, uh, how do you read an acceleration versus uh, time graph? So if you have a you know, an acceleration time graph, uh, which looks like this. Okay, let me just draw it for you. So there is a body, you know, and uh, the acceleration is shown here. And this acceleration is, uh, you know, two meter per second square. And it is maintained for a period of two seconds. And then uh, the body has no acceleration, maybe for next four seconds. And then this body, you know, has a deceleration, which is also, you know, minus two meter per second square. So the x-axis is always the time scale, okay? Now, how do you read uh, such a graph? What type of information this graph tells you about this body? Obviously, it tells you that this body accelerated uh, for a period of two seconds uh, with an acceleration of two meter per second square and then uh, the acceleration became zero and from two to four seconds maybe two to six seconds uh, there is no accel acceleration and from six to eight seconds you have a uh, deceleration so this graph you know tells you this information now apart from this the very important uh, characteristic of at graph is that the area under the curve of an at graph you know tells you about the change in velocity okay how much velocity changed so if you calculate this area which will be length into breadth two into two it will be four meter you know per second this is the change in velocity you know that that happened in a period of two seconds and if you see the physical world since the body must have some you know velocity at t is equal to zero and it accelerated for two seconds, it gained some velocity. So, so that gain is this, right? Similarly, this body, the area also represents the change in velocity. But since this is a deceleration, the change in velocity will be negative, which means the body lost velocity, right? So if you are in the fourth quadrant and you calculate delta V with the help of area under the curve of AT graph, you will get loss of uh, velocity, right? And which is also a change, right? So this is also a change in velocity, but it's a loss. But here it is the change in velocity, but it's a gain in velocity. So if you want to find out, uh, you know, how do you read an AT graph? Fundamentally, your whole focus is how do you, you know, calculate the change in velocity. So remember, AT graph helps you. Identify